Did you forget to thaw your meat? Like leaving food out on the counter? Today we're testing out the defrosting tray. It promises to be a faster way to defrost meat by the traditional counter method. But does it work? Let's try it. First up, we wanted to see how a standard ice cube does. We place an ice cube on a paper plate, on the defrosting tray, and in a stovetop pot. Within minutes, the ice cube began to melt on the defrosting tray. The saucepan was a close second, but the ice cube on the paper plate was not melting. It dissolved on the defrosting tray within 10 minutes, and a few more minutes behind it was the saucepan, but the paper plate cube was barely catching a sweat. Then, we had three equal bags of frozen pizza sauce. We placed each one on the different surfaces, and the defrosting tray came out the clear leader. The bag was too big for the saucepan, and like the ice cube, the paper plate just didn't really help it thaw. Our final test was frozen chicken breasts. Again, we lined these up on the different surfaces to see how well they'll do. The defrosting tray took about an hour to defrost the chicken breast thoroughly, but the paper plate again was still hours behind it. Also, the saucepan didn't do as well of a job. The defrosting tray might not be as fast as running it under cold water or using a microwave, but it'll speed up the process if you'd like to leave stuff out on the counter. Plus, it has a drip tray to catch any extra moisture that might collect. Now, the results. The positives. It works better than leaving it on the counter alone. It has a drip tray to catch excess moisture, so you're not getting stuff all over your counters. Plus, it's easy to clean. The negatives. The only real negative we could see is it takes up about the space of a small sheet pan on your counter, so storage might be an issue for some people. The defrosting tray worked better than other methods you might try when leaving it out on the counter. So if you're one to always leave food out, we rate this as a buy. -in. 